Hey, TTT Minecraft B5, right? You've either played this map or you've seen someone else play it. And if you think that none of these apply to you, then you're just lying. It's easily the most popular and recognizable TTT map to date and arguably spawned the whole TTT Minecraft map trend. But if Minecraft B5 is so good, where's Minecraft B6? It never happened. But you know what did happen? Minecraft B4. Minecraft has one of the most publicly documented histories out of any TTT map thanks to its creator, Finnyspin. He documented most of it either on his personal Tumblr blog or the Conjoint Gaming Forums, which as a side note are actually one of the few TTT community forums to still be online to this day. While other YouTube videos have tried to do this map justice before, the best coverage I could find only goes back to B3. So why don't we start at the very beginning? On April the 27th, 2011, Finnyspin posted this to his Tumblr blog. Got bored, so I'm starting to make a Minecraft map in Source. It included these images, showing a very basic start on this corner of the map. The next day, along with another Tumblr post showing further progress, a thread on the Conjoint Gaming forums was made about the map. It's unknown what was originally here since he edited the first post to announce the release of B5, but the post got attention and suggestions from the community from day one. He would continue to post progress updates on Tumblr whilst asking for feedback on the forums. The map grew and grew, the traitor room was added, the cliffs were formed, there are issues, more issues, and a nice texture that was never used. The iconic lighthouse was made, and even more issues! And finally, on May the 24th, 2011, the first version of the map was released. TTT Minecraft Beta. Let's have a look at this version. I'm sure it will have all of the features that the map is well known for in this extremely early state, so let's count them off. The caves, the nether, the tester, most of the ladders, a 3D skybox, fuck, I, I don't know, uh, trees? As you can tell, there's a lot of stuff missing, but that's to be expected from a version that came out more than a year before B5. There are also a few things of note here though. For starters, while the nether isn't in this version, the nether portal is. Or rather, the nether portals. There's extra ones in the lighthouse and around where the tester would be. Entering one will randomly teleport you to one of the other two, making them an unreliable escape, I guess. All of the doors are also entirely made from brushwork and textured with planks, which is pretty funny to look at. The only functional traitor trap here is the water to lava one, except the water isn't really water, it's just kind of there. Although to make up for this fake water, this bit actually has an animated flowing waterfall. The minecart trap is also here and works perfectly fine. Slight problem though. A bug prevents you from getting into the tea room to activate it, so it lays here dormant for now. Speaking of the tea room, it's mostly remained the same, just with less things to do. The nether portal here will randomly teleport you to one of the other three. There's this weird cubby with a door below the lighthouse stairs. You can't fit into it since it's been clipped off, but opening the door as a traitor shows text telling you to dispose of bodies here, but it doesn't actually do anything with them, so it's just for hiding them, I guess. And we actually have two credit boards in this map, one in the usual place but without having to break through to it, and one on the first floor of the lighthouse. So yeah, first version of this iconic map. Kinda cool? Kinda basic though. Let's keep going. Five hours later, an update to the map was released. This version was called... Uh... TTT Minecraft. With no version number. Very helpful. This version added a few trees, changed the way chest spawns work, and fixed the traitor room door. It also says lots more in the patch notes, so have some quick comparison shots. I noticed this extra minecart here. Very cool. The next version would be posted on May the 28th, four days later, and it was also called TTT Minecraft. Are you kidding me? However, the link to download it is dead, making it lost. Sort of. The people who downloaded the last version, called TTT Minecraft, were having problems connecting to servers running the new version of TTT Minecraft, which prompted Finny Spin to rename the map to a more familiar name, TTT Minecraft B1. This version brings the map a lot closer to how we know it today. Early versions of the Nether, Tester, and Caves were added. The doors were given proper textures, but you can't shoot through the windows, and the hinges are merely a suggestion. Ladders were added around the cliffs, so you don't need to swim to the beach to get back up anymore. And the flowing waterfall was blocked off so that people can't be pushed off into the water by it. The Nether was very different from how it is today since it received an update for every version that it was included in the map. There's not much for Innocence to do here, but traitors can either break the glowstone platform, or, more interestingly, create a suction that pulls players into the lava, with no indication as to when it's active. Fair and balanced. 
The traitor room button to send people to the fake death portal was also added in this version. The tester is really small compared to today. There's barely even room for one person in here. It also doesn't require the gold block to function just yet, but otherwise it works the same. One of the caves was also added, the one just underneath the lighthouse. The only difference I can see from today's version is that the breakable parts use gold ore texture instead of the iron ore. But the thing about this version that you really need to know is that it's fucking evil. Ignoring the never suction trap, that is probably one of the most annoying traps I've ever seen in a TTT map. Another addition to stop people, like, I, I don't know, getting too close to the border? Was to kill anyone that goes too far out. You just take damage, you die. No warning. And for the cherry on top, occasionally, it will just pop up with a little message telling you to play by the rules. No rhyme or reason. I, I thought I was going insane when I first saw it. So, I, I kept having to clip it every time I saw it. Another one of this map's efforts to toy with you the entire way through. What a nightmare. Let's just move on already. B3 was released on the 7th of June at... Wait, uh... B3? Yep. Finny Spin didn't know whether or not a B2 had already been made. So, he skipped it just in case. To recap, that's Beta, followed by Just Minecraft, followed by Just Minecraft again, renamed to B1, Skipping B2, and currently at B3. Don't fuck with us TTT mappers. We don't know how to do version numbers. Anyway, B3 had some cool changes. The tester was brought up to its final size, with the two traps on the bottom floor added. The nether was expanded with some more islands, but it still doesn't have much of a purpose just yet. The traitor room also had some changes, adding the body disposal hole, and a sign explaining the fake portal button. Most interestingly, in my opinion, these islands were added to the 3D skybox. We'll get back to these later. The borders of the map also don't kill you anymore. So, uh, yeah, that's a pretty nice quality of life change. Cheers for that. Finney actually teased this version with a video posted four days before its release, but it doesn't show any obvious differences as far as I could tell. On July the 3rd, B4 came out, which is the first version number in a very long while to actually make sense. We got there eventually. The other cave was added, which pretty much finalized the layout of the cave system. The only difference left is still that breakable blocks are gold ores instead of iron. The diamond and gold blocks were also introduced, changing the tester to its final state, although at this point the diamond block literally just triggered a win without the whole ending cutscene. The never also got the brick shack and that whole task, which if you didn't know, the bricks are used to block the minecart trap here. Useful, I know. Something interesting that was only in this version was the secret knife. Although it probably takes the cake for the easiest secret knife ever made in a TTT map. You go behind the lighthouse, break these two blocks, and take it. Easy as that. This made most rounds on this map into a race for the secret knife. The nether portal got its fence, the bedrock border was removed, and most importantly of all, the clouds were added. Look at them. Look how cool they are. Now, I think we all know what's next, but it took a while to get there. Finney would post on Tumblr a week after B4's release, detailing his plans for B5's features, including a second traitor room, getting the bricks fully working, and fixing a black skybox issue that some people experienced on B4. However, this would be the last Tumblr post related to the map, and the thread would go silent after August. It wouldn't be until the new year that he posted to the thread once again, confirming that B5 was being worked on again, and asking what changes people would like to see. He got some feedback, responded to it, proposed a scrapped idea where crafting bread would restore health, and once again the thread went silent. He would again briefly post in April, but in May, he asked for some help solving the black skybox issue. He got a few answers, none <clears throat> seeming to be all that helpful for him. And finally, after a hunt spanning nearly an entire year, in June, he announced that he'd found the cause. In August, he posted something, likely along the lines of the map is nearly done, but subsequently overwrote it with an edit, saying that he had a few more things to work on. Then finally, on September the 2nd, 2012, TTT Minecraft B5 was unleashed onto the then fairly new Steam Workshop. So after all that, what was changed? Well, the second traitor room was added back here, with this mystery chest that gives you a random traitor item. The nether portal was moved to back here, all of the breakable blocks got turned into iron, the textures got a resolution bump, so they all look pretty sharp now. The objective got the whole sequence where you go to the end. And this water, after all this time, through all the versions, finally got real. This map also removes some things, 
The secret knife was one of the first things to go as per the conjoint thread, but the suction trap also got the cut, and interestingly the fancy islands in the 3D skybox went in this version, presumably as an attempt to fix the black skybox issue. And in order to make way for this cave down here, the waterfall was removed completely as well as the flowing water texture. Although the trigger push was not removed, which explains why it still pushes you to this day. There's also some extra visible no draw that wasn't present in the earlier versions, so this is actually the worst map ever made. Fuck it. We're done now. If you'd like to see more of these videos for other maps, let me know. There doesn't seem to be much of this kind of TTT content on YouTube, so I'm happy to fill that void. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Figado. Watching his content will improve your gamer sense 100%.